What's up everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Before we start this video, if you are watching my video for the first time, smashing that red subscribe button below would be massively appreciated. So it's been a year since the AirPods Pro launched back in 2019. Most people criticize the design and features of AirPods 2, but luckily, AirPods Pro brings all those features that Apple fans were waiting for. Now, it's been a whole year since I started using these Apple earbuds. Here's my experience with these earbuds. Starting with the design, and of course, the design is the main thing that is hugely changed as compared to the original AirPods. The first thing you will notice is that the AirPods Pro now look better. They still have a weird kind of design with a protruding stem, but the stem is now smaller and offers some amazing functionalities. The thing that disappointed me is that there is no other color option rather than white. This time, Apple took a great step to make them fit in your ears comfortably. This is done by the innovative addition of three differently sized silicon tips. Apple made their own style of your tips as they don't have the nozzle, instead they just click into a place. To ensure they feel comfortable to wear, Apple used a smart trick, using passive vents on the outside of each earbud to help fade away the pressure between the inside and outside of the ears. The improvement in terms of fit is huge as compared to the original earpods. Earpods Pro lock them up in a place tightly so they can't get out of your ears while jogging or exercising. I'm not saying that these earbuds are the most perfectly fitting earbuds. Sometimes they slip out of your ears when so comes. If you are the one who struggled with the fit of the original earpods, these earbuds will not disappoint you as they fit far more comfortably as compared to the original earpods. As on the previous generation earpods, if you want to skip the track or if you want to activate the Siri, you have to tap the body of the earpods. This is not the case with the earpods pro. Instead, there is a capacitive force sensor in the stem. By excusing that area, it will activate noise cancelling or transparency mode or you can skip and pause tracks. It was little harder in the beginning to find the ridge because of shorter stems, but after using it for a couple of days, I get used to it. You can also change what excusing the ridge does. You can assign different functions on each earbud. The earpods feature an accelerometer and the earbuds itself features an optical sensor. These features allow the earbuds to play and pause the music when you plug the earpods in your ears. For example, while listening to music, if you take the earpods out of your ears, it will pause the music. Earpods Pro also feature IPX4 rating, which means sweat and rain won't affect its performance. Earpods Pro are pricey, but they are really well designed with some fine design changes. After a year of use, I am satisfied with the design and fit of the earpods. Airports Pro. There is a custom high dynamic range amplifier inside the earpods to create pure, clear sound along with a custom low distortion speaker driver for high excursion that optimizes audio quality and reduces background noise. The vocals are clearly sounded and bass is perfect. But there is a thing, one of my earpods sound lower than the second one. I don't know why, but after a year of use, this thing happened with my earpods. It may be because I use these earbuds in rain or maybe because of sweating, but I don't think so. This should happen as earpods pro are IPX4 rated. Also, there is a kind of packed feeling as the music is coming from inside your head. This thing is not natural. I think good headphones make the sound come from all angles. As compared to other expensive earbuds, I think it's harder to hear all the details in the music, but Apple worked really well on vocals and bass elements. In the AirPods Pro, Apple has placed two microphones for both internal and external sound analysis. The active noise cancellation did a pretty good job in stopping the background noise. One thing I noticed while reviewing these earbuds is that when you have no music playing in your earpods, a kind of hoop hoop sound can be emitted as the earpods pro noise cancelling tag trying to deal with no sound going into the ear. This thing is weird. The other end of Apple's noise cancelling scale is transparency, with the microphones within the earpods pro capable of passing through exterior sound. It's a well implemented feature, with the world gradually transitioning in and out as you switch on transparency, rather than a quick blast of sound falling in your ears. Even with the music on, you can have a debate with someone and when there is no music on, you are hardly knowing that you have headphones in your ears at all. Well, it requires a forceful touch on the stem to turn on the transparency. With iOS 14, Apple released some new features for AirPods. This feature is only for AirPods Pro. Special audio is a feature that provides unique listening experience. Apple uses dynamic head tracking and iPhone positioning to bring a movie theater sound experience to the AirPods Pro. Special audio is able to position sounds anywhere in it for a more immersive audio 
audio experience while viewing TV shows and movies by using directional audio filters and minor variations to the frequencies that each ear gets. In the AirPods Pro and iPhone, special audio will take advantage of the gyroscope and accelerometer to track head movement and device position, comparing motion data and remapping the sound field on the fly so it appears fixed to the iPhone even as the head moves around. AirPods and AirPods Pro features easy switching between devices in which you are signed in with your iCloud account. iOS 14 update makes it even easier to switch between devices. With the latest updates, AirPods and AirPods Pro automatically switch between devices that are paired to the same iCloud account. So, if you are listening music on your iPhone and you just start watching videos on your Mac, the AirPods Pro will automatically connect to your Mac. You can switch easily right now, but for most devices, if the AirPods Pro are already connected to a primary device, you need to access the Bluetooth settings on your secondary device to get access to your AirPods Pro. Automatic switching works with the AirPods Pro and second generation AirPods, while this feature does not work with the original AirPods. For pupils who have hearing problems, headphones accommodation is an accessibility feature which can enhance soft sounds and change frequencies to make songs, movies, calls, and other sounds more crisp and clear. There are multiple options available in headphone accommodation like tuning audio for balanced tone, vocal range, or brightness or adjusting the volume of soft sounds to be louder. Headphone accommodations also works on AirPods Pro with the transparency mode turning soft voices louder and tuning the sounds of the environment around you to suit your hearing needs. Let's talk something about battery life. AirPods Pro charging case will give you over 24 hours of listening time when fully charged. With each full charge of AirPods Pro, you will get 5 hours of listening time. Well, this 5 hours of listening time is when noise cancelling or transparency mode is off. While with noise cancelling on, you will get 4 or 4.5 four hours of listening time. If you use AirPods as hands-free mic for calling, then you can only use it for 3 hours. Apple claims you will get 1 hour of listening time by just 5 minutes of charging and I found that when my AirPods Pro ran out of battery, around 10 to 15 minutes of charge gave me an hour and a half of listening time. I only charge my AirPods Pro 2 or 3 times in a week as I don't run out of battery most of the time. AirPods Pro don't let you know how much battery is left as there is no indication except that green light for full charge and red light for low battery. Whenever you have to check your AirPods battery, you have to head to your iPhone's battery widget to know about AirPods battery life. Apple put the USB-C to lightning cable in a box, which I don't think so make any sense because most of the people use USB-A adapter instead of USB-C adapter. But if you are buying AirPods Pro, you will probably have one or two lightning cables available in your house so you can easily charge your new AirPods. Also, don't forget that this is a wireless charging case. You can also put it on a wireless pad to give your AirPods some juice. This is all about the AirPods Pro. Well, in particular, I've been using these AirPods since about a year, as I mentioned before. So I think AirPods Pro is a huge improvement as compared to the previous Apple AirPods. But AirPods Pro will cost you around $250 from official Apple site. So I think you have to search a bit as there are more impressive earbuds available in the market. AirPods Pro is a great option to go for if you're an iPhone user. All these new features make AirPods Pro much more useful. For me, I'm satisfied with its design and fit. But the thing that disappointed me is low voice on one of my earpods as I never expected this thing from $250 earbuds. I think Apple should work a bit on sound quality. I'm not completely satisfied with their sound quality because of the music details. That's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching guys. My name is Hamza. This is Tech Fielder and I'll catch you in the next one.